Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make something like this. This video is sponsored by Skillshare.com. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators, with more than 15,000 classes in design, photo and more. Everyone can take a class, try a project, and even, teach a class themselves. Premium membership is as low as $10 a month, for unlimited access to learning. Learn from anywhere, download the mobile app on Android or iPhone and tap into classes, even when you are offline. This is how Skillshare create universal access to learning, and how it unlock the world of creativity. Click on the link in the description, and get two month access for free. It all starts on Skillshare. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Metallic Logo Intro. I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 24 frames per second. In the right side of composition icon, you will see this 8 BPC option, click here and it will open this window. From the color setting, change depth from 8 bits per channel to 32 bits per channel. It will allow us to see multiple shades of the color. That will make our gradient to look more smooth. Perfect. Let's add our background first. You can download these files from the link in the description. Add this background to the After Effects project. And place it onto your composition. You are free to add your own background images as well. Let's add our logo. You can add your text as well. It works same for both. But make sure to follow my steps. Right click on your logo, and pre-compose it. Let's call it Logo Comp, and then hit OK. As you can see, my logo is so big in the size. Double click to open your Logo Comp, select your image, and press S to open scale. Change the scale size to make it look good on your frame. Perfect. Switch back to the main metallic comp and create a new solid. Let's call it Reflection. And make sure to use black color for this solid. Again, right click on this layer, and pre-compose it. We will call Reflection Comp. Now, open this Reflection Comp. Go to the Effects and Presets, and search for Fractal Noise. Apply this fractal noise to the solid layer, it will add this kind of effect on your layer. Let's change few settings to make it usable with our logo. Change the fractal type to max. And change contrast to 150. Open this transform option, and uncheck this uniform scaling. Now you can change the height only. Change height value to 3000. And you will get this kind of curtain look. Perfect, let's animate its position. Make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline. Now let's add a keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch icon in front of the offset turbulence. Then, go to the end frame, and change first value to 3000. and it will be animating like this. Perfect, this is all we need to start. Switch back to our main metallic logo comp, and place this reflection comp to the below of our logo comp. We are going to mask out our reflection comp from this logo comp. Press F4 to switch between modes and the switches. And then you will find this track matte tab as well. 
change this none to alpha matte. Now you have nice looking reflection onto your logo. But at some points, it is too hard. Let's apply a fast blur effect on this layer. Go to the effects and presets. And search for fast blur. Apply this effect onto your reflection comp. And change the blurriness amount to 30%. It looks much better now. Before adding the metallic look to our logo, we need to create a map for this, and that map will be applied to create some depth. Select your logo, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Let's call it logo map. Here is the important part. Pre-compose this logo map again, and now let's call it logo map comp. Open this logo map comp, and select your logo map layer. Right click on it, and then in the layer styles, select bevel and emboss. Let's zoom in so that you can see the difference. Open this bevel and emboss option, and change size to 10, change soften to 5. Perfect. Now select this layer and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of it again. We are going to change the bevel setting of this layer as well. Open bevel and emboss, and change the angle to 0 degrees. Now it has the bevel from the top side. Minimize this layer. And from the mode section, change normal to multiply. And your bevel will be applied to the top, as well as the bottom. Now create a new adjustment layer on top of them and then apply the same fast blur effect on this adjustment layer. This time I am going to change the blurriness value to 10. Perfect. Switch back to the main composition. And then select your reflection comp. Go to the effects and presets and search for CC Blobalize effect. Apply this effect on your reflection comp. Let's change few setting of this effect. Open this bloiness, and change the blob layer to logo map comp. You will get this nice looking depth. Change softness to 1 and cut away to 10. Let's change softness to 5, for more smooth edges. Let's apply another effect, go to the effects and presets, and search for CC glass. Add this effect to the same comp. This effect will create a nice looking texture to our logo. Let's add this rust layer to our project. By the way, you can download these files from the link in the description. Place this rust image on the top, and hide this for now. Switch back to the effect control window, and select reflection comp. Open this surface option in glass effect, and change the bump map to rust layer. Now, Change softness to 0, and change the height to 5. Perfect. We have added nice looking bump texture on our logo. You are free to use your own style you like. Next step is to add shadow to this logo. Select your logo comp, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Place this below the reflection comp. Go to the effects and presets, and search for fill effect. Add this effect by double clicking on it. Now, 
change its color to black. Apply another effect on it, it's called CC Radial Blur. We will use this for creating real looking shadow. Change type to fading zoom. And change the amount to something 50. Something I noticed, my shadow layer was not visible. Because my layer was hidden, at the time of masking. So click here to turn on the visibility of your shadow layer. Now, grab this anchor point, and place it somewhere like here. Now increase the blur amount to get the longer shadow. Also, change the quality to 100. Perfect. Now you have this nice looking shadow on your logo. Let's play this to see how we are going till now. This looks good to me. But reflection is still sharp at some points. Select your reflection comp. And change blurriness to 50. Cool. Now we have some nice looking reflections. Here is our last step to add some rust to our logo. Create a new solid, and call it rust. Right click on this layer, and pre-compose it. Let's call it noise effect. Open this noise effect comp, select your noise layer, and apply fractal noise effect on it as well. We will use this noise effect on the rust layer. Change contrast to 300, and that's it. Now, switch back to the main comp, and hide this. Select your rust layer, and turn it on. Select your logo layer, and make a duplicate of it again. Place this logo comp on the above of the rust layer and change Rust Track Matte to Alpha Matte, to mask out our logo from the Rust layer. You can scale the size of this Rust layer by pressing S. Now, select this layer, and go to the Effects and Presets, search for Gradient Wipe Effect, and apply this effect onto the Rust layer. Now change gradient layer to noise effect. Perfect. If you change the transition completion size, you will see rust layer is wiping according to our noise layer. Change gradient placement to the center gradient. And you will get the real looking rust on your logo. My transition completion size is set to the 54%. Now. Select your rust layer, and change the mode from normal to multiply. It added the rust perfectly, but also, it made it too dark. Let's add a curve effect on this layer, to adjust the brightness. Change curve to something like this, so the image will not look too dark. Perfect. Now the final step is to add some extra detailing into it. Right click on the rust layer, go to the layer style and select inner shadow. The default setting will add some huge size shadows. Open this inner shadow style, and change the distance to 1. And change size to 1 also. Perfect. Now our logo animation is complete. Play this and see how it looks. Thanks for watching this tutorial, I will see you on next week. Have a good day.